In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete a product from your stand store. So this is on the desktop version and I am already logged into my stand store. And then I went over to the sidebar and clicked on my store, which pulled up all of my products. So basically you can see all of the different products, a mix of different things, products that are courses, digital products, affiliate links, all sorts of different things. So I mostly use this for tutorials to show you guys how to use stand store. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete this product. So right here, I created a little course that I'm not actually going to finish out. And to delete a product in your stand store, you find the product in the list under your products, under store, and then you scroll down, you find it, and then you go over to the right side where it has the three little dots, and then you click on that, and then scroll down to the bottom where it says delete product. It does give you a pop-up that says just confirming to make sure you actually want to delete it. And if you do, you click yes, delete product, and then it's gone. So that product is gone. If you made a mistake, you'll have to recreate the product. So just be aware that if you delete a product, it's gone and you can't bring it back. So that is how to delete products and remove them entirely from your stand store. If you don't want to fully delete a product, but you don't want it to show on your stand store, like let's say you don't want this to show anymore, you would do a similar process where you click on the three dots, you locate it in your list, you click on the three dots on the side, and then you click unpublish. So now it's saved as a draft. You can see right here, it says draft. And then when you scroll up to see your stand store, it's no longer visible. So that's gone. So if you don't want to fully delete the product, you can just put it into draft mode, unpublish it, and then it doesn't show up to your customers when they come to your site. So that is an option if you just want to have the product in the back end and you can work on it later or maybe change your mind later. Both of these options remove it from the public. One is just a permanent deletion and one is just removing it from your page. So decide which one you want and then go ahead and make it happen. And if you need more videos on how to use Stan, definitely check out this next one.